What lady doesn't appreciate a clean and tidy home? With the lady of the house method, you can have just that. And if you launder this every day, you will transform your home. Welcome back ladies. I am excited to talk about laundering a load because if we launder a load every day, at least one a day, then we can transform our home. So I am going to share with you the laundry list and I do have a laundry list that I talk about in my new book, The Lady of the House Inspirations Volume 1 if you are interested and this is basically a compilation of all of the newsletters, well not all of them, but a lot of the newsletters that I've written that have to do with beautiful beginnings. So if you haven't purchased yours, I hope that you will. But today we are discussing the Lady of the House method and more specifically the everyday routine that I have in here in my The Lady of the House Life book. I know, so many books. But this is a planner, a personal planner for you, if you so desire to have one, that will really help you be productive when it comes to your own home and taking care of your home. And so within it, I have the Lady of the House method and it has the every day that we would want to make sure to take care of. It's a routine that we would want to go through. And of course, within that routine, there are routines you know, within those things. But this is just covering laundering a load. That's what we're doing today. So every single day, well, it's Sunday, I don't have anything written on there, but really it's if needed. But for the rest of the days of the week, I do have something specific that you would launder that day. Now that is going by the lady of the house method. However, if that does not fit into your lifestyle, feel free to tailor it to you because you are the lady of the house and you know what your home needs and what your what laundry needs to be done. But I want to walk you through what I do and what I have within this method and hopefully you will find it beneficial if you feel like you just have mounds of laundry all the time piling up. You do this, you launder a load like this a day you will just say goodbye to all of the mounds of laundry, I promise. So, but you have to be willing to do it. That's the only thing. Monday, with the daily focus of bedrooms, it only made sense to launder bedding. Now, if you have multiple beds within your home, make sure that you, if you have children that can strip their beds of all of their bed linens, that would be the day to say, okay, everybody get your bed linens, it's bedding day. And so they would strip their beds, put them in the laundry room. You can even have them do their own bedding as well. There is a way to go about this where if you have your children do their own laundry, that can be one of the loads that they would do on their day. The first thing is, of course, on Monday, we have the focus of bedding. So this is one of the first things that I do because of course, I like to make my bed every day, and that is part of the everyday checklist as well. But on that Monday, I don't just make the bed, I strip my own bed and then put fresh sheets on. And so I personally like to have two pairs of sheets per bed because it just makes do you know putting the bedding on back on so simple you are already there you put the bedding back on and then your bed is made and you don't have to wait for the bedding to you know cycle through and that can just be one load you can even if everybody has similar sheets that can just be the load that you launder 
or you might have to do multiple and especially if it um, is a day that you are going to focus on maybe your comforter or maybe just extra bed linens then it will be more than one load but just know that that can also be a Sunday thing. It can be another day kind of thing. It's really up to the lady of the house. You know your home best. I find that Mondays is the best day for me to focus on bedding. And so I can get all of it done in that day. Not necessarily in one load because you know, but still launder a load. The next day is Tuesday and we are laundering towels. So again, this is a day that I would tell everyone within my own household, it's towel day, please bring your towels to the laundry room. Once they all go off to school, I start the towels and this is after everyone has showered for the day and so then everyone gets fresh towels the next day. Then Wednesday is hers. So the lady of the house gets to focus on her own laundry. Let me tell you, this has changed everything for me. When I first got married, I would wash all of our clothes together. My husband's clothes with mine and so many things got ruined because look, I wasn't avid about checking every single pocket. He would leave chapstick in his pocket. He would leave pens. It was just a mess. Okay. And I'm not that kind of lady of the house where I check every single pocket. However, I am very careful to check mine because I really do value my dresses and, you know, and then I don't know. Well, I mean, I just empty any of my pockets anyway, but, um, I am very careful with my clothing. Let's just say that. I really love beautiful dresses and so making sure to wash my clothing a certain way makes me much happier just having that time. I would have to say Wednesday is my favorite day to wash clothing because I usually have a color story of sorts. The the um, Even my dirty clothes in my basket just look nice when I look in there because of all the colors that I chose for that week. But especially when I go to wash them, it's really easy because I go with a color story. It makes separating clothes if necessary pretty easy and um, usually I can fit them all in one load but sometimes it, it just depends if there are items that need to be washed separately I will do that I'm not just going to throw it all in one but anyway as soon as I am done washing those and I hang dry all of my items then I just hang them on my clothing rack and let them air dry in my bedroom and it's just a beautiful sight to behold. If you have changed over to wearing all dresses and just, you know, want your wardrobe to be a very pretty wardrobe, I would think that you would really enjoy this laundry day yourself. And I would have to say that changing the way that I looked at clothing and especially my own things, but not just my own things, but even, you know, the linens within the home, it's really changed the way I have felt about doing laundry. So making sure to have colors that are beautiful that I like to touch and and deal with, this has made a big difference. I also wrote about that in um, my inspirations book. So there is so much that I have to say on the subject, but um, just know Wednesday is one of my favorite days to do laundry because it's always changing. The colors that I go with for my color story for the month, they're always changing or maybe I focus a lot more on different colors within a week. So anyway, that's just a day that you get to focus on your laundry and you get to hang it up and just enjoy it anyway. The next day is Thursday. So this is the day that I focus on his laundry. So my husband's laundry and um, the man of the house gets his laundry done by me. So um, if you do your husband's laundry, this would be a good day to do that or figure out a day that works best for you. And while I do say launder a load, sometimes this requires more than one and just know I understand that. If it does require more than one, you're in there anyway, go ahead and do that. And I also want to mention that while you're in there laundering a load, 
this is also a good time to check something off that list for the laundry room or for the utility room to clean up because within the lady of the house method I have a page dedicated to the utility room but it doesn't land on any day I think I used to have it on a day probably have it on a Monday I don't know but um, I no longer have it on a day it's just a little something every day that you would take care of the best time to do that is when you are in there anyway doing a load a day laundering a load so um, that could be refilling products wiping down cabinets or shelves appliances wiping the mirrors if you have any or decor pet dishes taking care of pet dishes in there um, you know refilling anything like that I used to have the pet dishes in there for all the dogs and it was a good place because I would be in there every day so it made me look at the dog dishes every day so just a thought there and then I also have on here lights vents walls doors floors boards and the utility sink any of those items that need to be done and cleaned just focus on one little thing throughout each day and it will just basically take care of itself because of that so um, that's Thursday taking care of his clothes I just ask that my husband bring his laundry hamper into the laundry room that day it's kind of an ordeal to get it just where he wants it and so um, I just do like I ask that he do that for me so um, that has been working out well for us and then by the time he gets home all of his laundry is done put away and his laundry hamper is back in its place so it's really nice to start that first thing in the morning and seeing it through to completion never leave clothing in piles and I especially encourage you to do this where you know you would not want the laundry to be left. So if maybe you allow clothing to pile up on your, I don't know, on your sofa, on a chair, anything like that, and you notice that the pile just sits there, don't leave it there. Where are you more likely to want to clear the space? And I'm not saying clear the space to the chair or the sofa. I'm saying to take care of that. Where is a good workplace for you? I wouldn't say a sofa is good for me because I really don't ever sit over there and um, I also don't watch TV over there. I don't really use that space like that. But something that is really good for me to do is to put the clothing on my bed because number one, I love to have a clear, clean, made bed and I don't like for things to be left on there. So I know that if I put my clothing over there or any laundry over there, I am going to handle it because I like that space nice and neat. I don't want to walk back into my room and for there to be just work sitting there for me to do and to not feel like it's a place that my husband can come home and relax on or that I can just easily get into bed. To me, there's nothing worse than getting into bed and having like a pile of, and I will say this has happened, but I always kick myself for this if I ever get into bed with clothes at the bottom of my bed, at the foot of the bed. I never sleep well like that. So anyway, the bed is the best place to me. I know others like to put um, clothing, they like to fold clothes on their um, ironing board, on your table, whatever it is, just make sure that it's nice and clean, doesn't have, you know, dog hair or cat hair or anything like that on that because then it kind of defeats the purpose. So anyway, finding the right place to put it to ensure that you will complete it. And then um, Friday, the laundry is linens. So if you were doing bed linens on Monday, we're doing towels on Tuesday, what linens are left? Well, this is just what accumulates throughout the week. So any tea towels, any napkins, any um, tablecloths, dish cloths, anything like that, cleaning cloths, things that you have used, this is a great time to clean those linens, even curtains, 
you know, just other linens, throw blankets, stuff like that. That's a day that I like to focus on that. If not, I will also include those items um, within maybe the towels or, you know, it just, it really depends, but um, I do like life with like. I would have to say that that makes a big difference. And then when I go to purchase items for my home, I keep that in mind so that when it comes time to wash linens, I don't need to have extra loads because of that. Then Saturday, the focus I have on here is theirs. So if you are doing your children's laundry, for instance, say you have babies, this might be a day that you would fully focus on their laundry. Maybe you have a lot more to do. So it might be a good day to do that. You can even leave it as a day that maybe your kids, if they are home that day, um, maybe throughout the week, it wasn't a good time for them to do their own laundry. Maybe that would be a day to do theirs or just anything else. I don't know. You are the lady of the house. Again, it's up to you. So I really hope that this in-depth explanation of everything is helpful. And um, just know I say launder a load, but it might be multiple loads. So launder a load, launder some loads, whatever it is, just make sure that you are completing all of it and not leaving anything overnight, not leaving anything in piles anywhere. It feels good to see it through to completion. So I really hope that you found some inspiration in today's video. Again, if you are looking for a method to help you to keep your home under control and to feel like a true lady of the house and where you just feel on top of things, definitely check out my Lady of the House Life book. It has two monthly spreads per month for the planner section and some daily pages, not dated daily pages, just daily pages for you to be able to write out your schedule, your menu for the day, and also a list, whatever that list may be, a grocery list, a list for anything. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.